Hi, and welcome back to the Plant-Based Quick Cooking Show. I'm Karen, and every week I come to you from the Center for Plant-Based Living here in St. Louis, Missouri. You know, one recipe that I have always loved is um, growing up was chicken salad. And there's a gazillion ways you can make it, right? So when I went plant-based, I had to figure out a way to make it without any kind of meat or dairy or any animal products. And there's a lot of recipes out there. Just Google it and you'll find probably many that you like. Um, and I make different ones. I make Sonoma chicken, chicken, um, just regular chicken salad, tuna salad. Um, and it's, it all kind of evolves around the same ingredients, give or take a few. But the one that I think that I love the most is the buffalo chicken salad or the buffalo chickpea salad. So that's what we're going to make. Now every, now you know every week when we come to you, um, the quick show, the plant-based quick show revolves around two concepts. And that is we use seven ingredients or less, so it's really pretty simple. And we also do it inside of 30 minutes. Let's get started. Okay, chickpeas, right? I have two cans of chickpeas here, which is 28 ounces or three cups. And I've rinsed them off or drained them and then rinsed them. And we're just gonna put them into the food processor. You don't need to get out your food processor if you don't want to. Um, if you wanted to mash them by fork or a potato masher, you could do that. But this is easy enough for us to get out. And all we do is give it a few pulses. That's it. All right. So um, that your chickpeas are not pureed, you want them to be pretty coarse. And some of them still intact too. And just dump right there into your big mixing bowl. I'm using, I'm using gloves today because I like to get dirty with my food. Really get in there. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, here's our base, our chickpeas, right? Now we're just gonna flavor it up. I'm going to put in some garlic powder. Now this, there's the rest, the recipe is down below, um, but really the ingredients or the ratios of the ingredients, the amounts of the ingredients really is up to you. Play around with it. We have garlic and onion powder in here now. I love red onion, diced red onion, not too overpowering. You really don't want any flavor or any ingredient really to stand out here, including the buffalo sauce. You want it to all just marry and be beautiful together. Okay, so now we have our onions in there. I'm gonna grab some celery because what's buffalo without some celery? And it's a great little crunch. So cut off those kind of gnarly ends and one right down the middle one right down the middle that one's a little bit better that's okay lots of water in this little salad too because there's a lot of water here in the chickpeas and in our celery okay throw that into our bowl you can see how fast this is right Come on, little guy. Okay. An added crunch and a little bit of extra fat. Um, I've decided to add some chopped walnuts. This is about three fourths cups of wal walnuts and then I chopped them. You can use sunflower seeds, pecans, um, chopped up almonds, really whatever you want. A little bit of pepper, just a pinch of salt. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And of course, buffalo sauce. Whatever you can find, or maybe if you make your own, uh, it's totally up to you. You don't have to use really too much because again, you obviously you want that flavor to come through, but you don't want it to be so overpowering that that's really the only thing you taste. And this really is better after a few hours in the refrigerator, refrigerator to let all those flavors develop. And I'll tell you, 
I have not yet found a kitchen tool that can do what these hands do. So that's why I'm gloved up. Mix everything up. This will keep in the refrigerator for up to about five days in a sealed container. So you can make this once and eat it all week. Yes, please. It's a great little meal to have or a great little snack to have in the fridge for when you're hangry. It's, it's, uh, it's a lifesaver. It's great for picnics. picnics. It's great for, um, you know, when we can gather again, take it to a party. Really, it's just kind of, it's, it's such, it's an all encompassing, super easy, no cook little meal. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to get rid of these guys. You can put this over greens. Today I have a um, kind of an all or one of those multi-grain little buns. Throw on some greens. You know I'm gonna. You knew I was gonna say that, right? <laughs> That's our bottom. You could do um, yeah. So just put this over greens. Eat it straight out of the bowl. Put it in between some pieces of sourdough or multi-grain bread. I might even put an avocado in here later too, just for fun. But that's not part of the original recipe because then we would go over seven ingredients. All right, that is it. That is our chickpea, buffalo chickpea chicken salad. And it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to dig in. All right. I hope that you try this, and if you do, sh send me a picture, send me a note on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see it, and I'm always up for your suggestions for what to do next week. Thanks very much for joining us, and as always, take good care. I'll see you later.